Hey guys, welcome back to every two here today with a new video. Today you guys are in for a treat because we are going to be revisiting the demo for Sulphur because I love this game and it comes out October 28th, which is very exciting. Very soon they are releasing. We're here. Uh, my data from before is all gone. This is still the demo version, which you can play for free on Steam right now and uh, try it out for yourself. What's really cool too, a pretty new feature on Steam is uh, you can actually review demos now and this game's demo has a 98 percent positive review it is like overwhelmingly positive whatever the the one is for that it's pretty much entirely positive reviews uh, for good reason if you don't know i covered this game on the channel like a few months back and uh, i was in touch with the devs a little bit as well oh we got some butter they are some really cool guys it's a really small team it's a very promising indie game and uh, it's going to be a next fest coming up i think in like a week here as well and then like i said it's going to come out on the 28th of october you can check it out on steam which is pretty exciting and they have a roadmap as well looks like uh, like that so you can kind of see what stuff they've got planned down the line new biomes and enemies and weapons and stuff like that the demo itself though is pretty massive so like i said if you have any interest in it after this video uh, check out the demo and then you know check out the game wishlisted on steam um i am for this video being paid also just so you guys know this is a sponsored video so not not nothing crazy but your boy's getting a, f a few clams to talk about the game yeah 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 <laughs> and if you uh don't know about the game after today, you hopefully shall be interested in it. Because I tried it, I think it was during a different Next Fest, maybe. And then I became immediately very... Break down. Get out of here. There we go. Became very interested in the game immediately. How do I get up here? This way. Yeah, oh, there we go. Laser Sight. It's a very cool little game. It's got this sort of stalker-esque inventory. Um, my head's in the way, but there's like boot slots down here too. You can wear two different boots. Laser's gonna give us 50% accuracy while moving. We'll put that on our gun. Look at that. Now we've got a laser. Pretty insane. You can do some, oh, egg. Egg, egg in this trying time. time. It's sort of like a roguelike run-based game where you progress further and further, but you can also have this like extraction shootery element where you can leave out of the dungeon that you're in. Once you see that one with the ambulant symbol in the middle at four, um, you can back out of here like before the boss and store any of the loot you found like ammo, weapons, you know, cool stuff for your next run. If you're worried about like your health or how you're doing or you don't think your stuff is good enough because like these starter things are pretty weak, um, you can always back out and do ah fucker ah ah oh my god <laughs> ah i'm a little rusty <laughs> not playing very well goblin skin what's really cool too is that when i played this the first time oh and broth uh we'll eat some broth heal 10 health Our health's in the bottom there you can also harvest these little mushrooms when i played this the first time i didn't know anything about like the cooking or really at all what i was doing these ones are no good for you those are poison but you can make them into grenades so like i was saying harvest these little mushrooms you can eat those straight up for just like one hp or you can find uh like pots of snail and you can sort of discover recipes as you play to turn them into uh different kinds of healing items or like grenades um, these like poisonish mus poisonous mushrooms you can turn into uh, poison grenades and stuff. Oh, I hear something. What am I hearing? I'm hearing a ticking noise. Oh! It's a goddamn, it's a goddamn, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he dropped some pillow armor. What do we got here? <laughs> plus five armor, minus five percent move speed. That's okay. I was wearing plus one armor shirt. No good. Oh! What the, who the hell is this? There's some crazy stuff in this demo. Oh! Boy. Oh, I shot his mask off. If only I could take his gun. Sorry, Bozo. But yeah, the art style is really cool. That was the first thing that drew me in. And then just the game itself is really good, honestly. And like I was trying to say, the demo has so much content in it. Like, I'm actually going to eat some of these. So I'm a little bit worried here. Let's eat egg. Um, you can actually play this demo like 
it feels like a full game just in the demo it is right now there's so much oh there's so much content in here ah jesus fuck bread oh bread is a good one i keep getting distracted but it's because i like this game so much i have a lot of things i want to say but there's a bunch of cool crafting recipes i'll put some on the screen right now in a little video while i get these mushrooms where you can kind of like look them up on the wiki or kind of just discover them as you play um there's sort of a wiki started of cool stuff like that and uh, when the game comes out for real there's going to be a, i'm sure a lot more uh, recipes to discover and i took a little bit of damage oh potato but i know you can combine bread with i think the goblin skin so hopefully we can find somewhere to cook shortly here i'm not as good as i was last time i played this at like baiting an attack like that oh, there's so many guys coming there we go so you want to try and there we go you want to try and preserve ammo a oh, stick is a good one too stick and goblin skin makes or stick in like mystery meat makes like meat on a stick you can eat and stuff like that it's pretty cool i didn't get into like any of that last time i played because i didn't know what i was doing i still don't know what i'm doing but uh there's so much content in the beta that you can kind of play this like a real game and i think they said some kind of crazy statistic that like 25 percent of people who played the beta have played more than 10 hours or something like that it was kind of insane is this anything no Goblin skin is bread bread and butter's got to be something right bread butter cook Oh butter sandwich. I didn't even do this last time. It's too stupid. Look at that butter sandwich so What about can I just mix mushrooms no potato and And a, a potato sandwich. No no dice potato and these these no no dice stick Goblin skin nothing. I know there's a two goblin skin one well, at least we made butter sandwich 15 health over five seconds that's a lot of health you can see in the bottom uh left kind of cool that's my health bar so now I, I ate and that's the health that i'm healing right and then if you hover over like the bread you can see that's how much health it'll give me and, like you can't really see the line for these because it's so small but if i click the bread i get all that health another piece of bread i get all that health and then i can just sort of top up with these little mushrooms and uh, there we go basically full health kind of cool uh we're gonna keep going but yeah it, there's a bunch of crazy guns and like attachments and stuff you can get and it's it's really these like enhan uh, enchantments as well so like uh you can get like fire bullets ice bullets crazy stuff like that shoot two bullets at once and it's those sort of things that you start to get this kind of crazy build going and the different armor pieces and stuff and then uh, if, if you're man enough, you can take on the boss, or you can get out, keep some of it. There's gold that we've been getting along the way. We've got 50 bucks right now. As you can get out and buy stuff. I got some ammo, thankfully. I was about to run out of ammo. God damn it. What do you drop? Bread again. Bread's kind of good. It's stick. Yeah, we've got a little bit of cash. And then, yeah, you can buy stuff. You can enchant stuff. I really like the game. I like the way it looks. And especially for an indie game, I believe it's a team of four. Uh, it's very high quality, and uh, it's, it's very impressive to me anyways. I've played a lot of stinkers, and this is one of the few games that really stood out to me, and like right away, I had a feeling that it was going to be really good. I know I'm being paid to make a video on the game, but uh, I don't actually have to say the game is good. Holy Christ, and I'm the one who reached out to them, so... Oh, there's a little guy. There's these little, like, you saw the exploding one earlier. These little like variations that you can get on guys too, which is kind of cool. Ah, yeah. Ah, I've been. St oh no. Ugh. Ah, get me out of the water. Good lord, get me out of the water because of my ass. I'm trying to save ammo, but then I just get myself hurt. Eat our last bit of butter sandwich here. We've got cheese and bread, which I assume we can make something good out of that. One would. One would help. All kinds of mushrooms. Alright, cool. Probably drop that shirt at some point here, too. I also really like the weapon animations and just, like, the look of the weapons. This guy's begging for his life. Sorry, guy. I don't play like that. I'm a bastard. What can I say? I'm a bastard. But yeah, well, today we're just playing it. I'm showing you guys the game. Hopefully getting you interested in it. I really want the game to do well. I, I think this game has... Like a lot of style, and it's really well made, it's, and it's just it's a it's a fun game. It's a good game. I don't know what the price tag is gonna be. I have no idea on that. 
Oh, these guys are like killing each other in here. All right, so let's see if bread and cheese, that's not something. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I did a little sleuthing. Potato and cheese gives you a uh, raclette. 50 health, holy. That's a, that's a crazy one right there. Okay, and here's a really good one to know. Three bells and a stick. So bells usually give you one health over one second. This will give you 15 health from three only. And stick, you get so many sticks. Look at this, I'm a master chef over here. Another stick, three more bells. We're turning three health into 15 with just a stick. Kind of nuts. And you can do the same thing with these road sops. The road sop, I don't know what the O <laughs> is. But also if we get nine of these, we can make a health potion. So I'm gonna try and say, oh, bread and potato, just chilling in there. Wasn't that a thing? I know two potatoes is a thing. Mashed potato, 30 health. Holy shit, is two breads a thing? Bread sandwich. <laughs> All right, we've got so many healing items now. Let's hang on to that. It's just ammo that we need, really. Let's keep rolling. That was some good stuff. We did some good cooking. Oh, that was ghost. Ghost is bad. I know ghost is bad. I'm, I'm scared of ghosts. Ghosts come, ghosts kill you. Ghosts insta-kill you, I think. I think it's if you dick around in an area for too long. I'm not sure how it works, but I know ghost is bad. We gotta get moving. I'm scared of ghosts. We're getting out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> There's like a ghost that haunts you. I don't know 100% how it works, but I don't want to be haunted today. I don't like being haunted. All right, we're one more layer down here. It's hard to know all these, these dang recipes, but of course, as you play, hey, as you play, you'll learn. So I think if you shoot them right in the eye, you sometimes get the eyeball. Maybe. Let me try and shoot this guy right in his goddamn eye. Eh. Eh. Sir, let me see your eye. Specifically your eye. I don't know if that was an eye shot. It's so hard to even... Oh, I dropped bread. It's hard to get him right in the eyeball. Eh. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Hold on, sir. What the fuck is that hitbox? Bottle of water. Didn't get him in the eye. Alright, maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure if you shoot certain spots, you can get stuff. Alright, I know the water's 5 health, removes poison. I think you can do this or something. Mushroom soup, that's pretty good. We'll eat that. No, I want to keep that to eat it. Uh, two of these, something. Mystery meat and a stick, I think, is something. Bread and mystery meat is something. French hot dog, 30 health over two and a half seconds. <laughs> All right, we're getting some good stuff going here. Oh, you can quick bar it too, that's cool. We'll put the 50 health one in the hot bar. Uh, it actually takes it out of our inventory, but that's kind of nice. I didn't know about that last time I played this either. I didn't know about anything. I was a fool. Let's make another mushroom soup maybe. I assume more doesn't matter, no. It's another mushroom soup. All right, pretty cool, we'll eat some of that. Cheese and bread's not something, hey? That's kind of crazy to me. I can't make a nice, like, grilled cheese. My dirk ranked up. You also, yeah, rank up the weapons uh, as you use them. Oh, a gun. Hell yeah. Are these the same... Oh, uh, they're the same ammo type, though. This is 96 damage. The other one's only 60 damage. Oh, I just can drop that guy. Also, that sound it made was very satisfying. Bro just got blasted. Sorry, brother, you've been killed. Uh, can I still reload just like one at a time? Oh yeah, it only takes one bullet. But yeah, you can level guns as you go. You can see my Dirk's rank two at the top there. Um, it also has like conditions. This one's damaged, which I guess maybe you can see it on it. It's actually physically damaged, unless that's just how it always looks, but I think that's probably because it's so busted. But we can repair it back at our home base. All right, there we go. Into a health potion, 100 health over five seconds. That's pretty nuts. Let's put that for that. Or I guess it takes up only one slot. We've got an insane health potion if we need it. I think when you go like this, the game pauses, like sort of Fallout style, and you can eat a thousand things as a meal and you'll still be fine with your health and stuff. Oh, there's the stick. We know stick is good. Stick is good for nice recipes. This thing's a one-shot machine. 
Oh, this guy's already... Everybody's already dead. What happened to you guys? They must fight each other. The goblins and the, uh... Somebody's ticking in this next room. The goblins and the, like, bounty hunter looking guys. Oh, this is the three shot thing? Yeah, this makes you shoot three bolts at once, but it makes them weaker, but it's three at once. So, I mean, kind of crazy, but I do like this revolver how it is. So I don't know if I want to fuck with it. Plus, I'll burn through ammo super fast. So, you can see there, I can enchant my dirk to shoot <laughs> three bolts at once. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Might save it. Oh, he's going to blow up. Stay back. Ah, Jesus. I got the edge of that hit me. Bro, exploded. Bro, painted everything. Alright, this charges your amulet so you can return to your base. But we have so much health, I think we're okay to keep going, to be honest. I'm worried about this ghost. I don't 100% know how the ghost works mechanically. I think it is just to kind of speed you along. Alright, we're on to five now. Um, I think we can use the amulet to get out any time now at, from this point on. So if we want to, we can just leave. Uh, you kind of got to weigh your your odds. Whether you actually think you're going to make it or not. Ow. Like when you get shot by a fucking arrow in the head, for example. Oh, there's something for eight of these. Fried mushroom, 25 health. Oh, we should just be doing that then. That's a good deal. It's better than one health a, a piece. Is there something up here? Oh, look at that. That's how you know it's a good game. Shoo! Move speed 10%. Put that on. One shoe acquired. I'm so fast. 10% faster than ever before. All water. Ah! Oh, cheese. Cheese. I saw cheese. I see you. Get blasted, son. Here, a ticking guy again. Ah, motor bullets. Ah! So many guys coming. Where's the ticking guy? God, he's hiding behind everybody. Ah. Stop! He's hiding in the... Ah! Jesus. What? Ah, oh my god. What is this? Good lord. Okay, we're good. We're good. Dude. Holy... We gotta eat our hot dog. That's so many guys. No! Ah! Ah! Stop it! Holy shit. Oh my god. What was that? This room is relentless. Oh, a throwing knife? Hell yeah. I can pull out the throwing knife. I think you just get one throw though. Sir, did you see what I just had to go through in there? Ridiculous. Oh, what's this guy up to? Look at all this ammo you can buy. We've only got 175 bucks. Thousand for the enchantments. A little bit ridiculous. Slow motion. Repair kit. A thousand durability. See, that costs an insane amount of money. Can you sell stuff? Oh, I can. $400. Okay, so I guess you just gotta sell stuff if you want any money. Sell my one dollar shirt. Here you go. It's three hundred for this shirt. All right, that's cool. Maybe the prices aren't insane then, since you can sell stuff. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Oh, bread and broth. Oh, this is a big boy. It says it gives twenty-five health, but that's clearly not true, because this says twenty and it barely moves my bar. This is giving like full health. I don't. It's not 20. This is giving at least 50. Something's wacky with the dop get it done, but we'll put that there. Alright, down we go. Oh god. This is a huge bitch. Oh, we're shooting through into his weak spot. Whoa! You gotta not shoot the wood. Shit. Ah! There we go. I think those. Ah! When he flashes white, you're actually hitting him. He's just got a lot of health. He's also a bigger... He's got the big, like, modifier on. Ah. Here's what we do. Yeah! 
That was a waste. Ah! Can you pick it back up? Is that allowed? Can you just die? Maybe we are gonna run out of ammo. Just on this guy. Yeah. Oh, you can kinda get in there. That really messes the wood up. As long as you jump when he jumps. Oh, I'm kinda going crazy now. It's like a rhythm game. I cannot believe how much health this guy has. He actually got a hit there and it didn't do that much. Finally. Oh, what the fuck is this? Splits into He's like a goddamn slime. Boys. I do not want to get hit by... Oh my god. By all three at once. Catch boys. Sorry boys. Ah! What have I done? Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. These guys are unkillable machines. Bro, my ammo. Oh my god. You guys are insane. Oh, I got one. I got two. Ah, fucker. Okay, we've done it. Jesus. That was a little much. I'm not gonna lie. Another triple oil. Uh, just what I wanted. These poison guys. I don't know how you use these poison ones correctly. I know you can make poison grenades out of them. Alright, we used our throwing knife, our Molotov. <laughs> we used everything we had on those bastards. Holy shit. We're still not even close. Alright, we're a little low on ammo. We're gonna keep rolling though. Health is looking good. But... Ah! Ah! Fucker, what are you doing? Can you not fucking light me on fire? Is that an- is there- is there- Okay, I don't have any bottles of water. Which is not good. Is there water that I have to get in? Hello? I'm fucking burning. Hello? Okay, that lasts forever. Jesus. <laughs> so stop, drop, and roll button. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is happening? Can we relax? This guy's got a fucking minigun. Dude, chill. Holy fuck. What even is that? These wizards, dude. Bro just started, like, gatling gunning me. What a psychopath. Oh, cheese and egg. You know what that means. We're eating good soon. We're eating omelets, baby. I can't believe how insane both those wizards were going nuts. Enemies are getting too crazy. I still have the same shitty gun. Hockey helmet. Three armor. No downsides. That's good. Why do the goblins hate me so much? Ah! Okay, there's water here at least. At least we've got that going. Dude, why are there so many? Why are there a hundred? Oh, he just burned his own guy? That's pretty sick. I hear so many bad things happening behind me. Good god. I'm getting my ass beat, dude. Ah! Fucking stop. Oh no! Ah! Ice wizard, please. Oh, this is a dead end. Can you guys fucking stop? This is absurd, man. What is happening now? Is that a big fucker? Stop icing me! Ah! Can he get in here? Are you too fat to get in here? Your, my frame rate, bro. You're taking on my frame rate. I need that. I need my frame rate. We're gonna eat the fondue. Holy shit, I'm getting ruined. The difficulty has went through the roof. We have, like, such a bad weapon. If we had a good gun or, like, a shotgun or something, we'd be living a bit larger, but holy. Ah, the dogs. I hate the dogs. Ah, you fucker dog. Oh, holy shit. My shoe needs repairing, sir. Hold on, my shoe. Holy fuck, he's gonna kill me. Please don't kill me, dog. Holy Christ. I'm like out of ammo. Also dropping some frameage, but it's okay. We, we hang in there. We have like no 9 mil. We have all this ammo for other guns. Oh God. We're not finding any other guns. Stop! 
fucking mutt. <laughs> Getting ruined. We need a cooking thing. So badly. Oh, sulfur hoodie. That's epic. Can we buy this in the merch shop? Sulfur hoodie, five armor. Without the negative move speed. That's good. I almost want to keep this other one to try and sell it, though, is the thing. Pulsa. Pulsa. You can eat that. Damn. Oh, bread. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's fucking poison wizard. Guys are so violent. Ah! <laughs> Fuck, man. Blew that guy's goddamn eyeball off. Stop! Fucking fire wizard. I just had to deal with all these dogs. Fuck you. Okay, we're chilling. So much violence. Translucent oil. Try this on a weapon with an empty enchantment slot to enchant it. Ammo consume chance minus 30%. Okay. Translucent oil. I can still double enchant as well. So there's a chance that it won't consume ammo. That's what I got out of that. A 30% chance. It made some more inventory space there. I could go back and get all the mushrooms and come back and cook them and all that, but we're too good for that. Okay, we're on the last area. It's getting really insane, and we don't have any good guns. And this gun even is starting to break, too, so... This is not great. Oh, is this what I have already? But not broken? This is what I have, but not broken. Okay, well, let's use the one until it breaks, then. How about that? Still could use a better gun. Especially, I just enchanted this one. That's so unlucky. Could have enchanted the new one. But maybe we won't waste as much ammo with this 30% ammo chance thing. Let's try and speed through here, though. We've been playing this for a while already. I got a rock. I don't know what kind of crafting things you can do with a rock. Rock and mushrooms. Rock and snail. Oh, rock and snail is something. Green glob. Oh, I smashed the snail. <laughs> I'm sorry, snail. I did not mean it. Alright. Uh, what else do we get? Nothing much. As oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, this is the boss. We're in the boss. We're in the boss. At least it's not a whole area. Oh! He's crazy. It's Cousin. I remember now. Cousin from the bear is in this. Alright, sorry, cousin from the bear. It's time to kill you, cousin from the bear. This boss, he's what we would call in the biz a bozo. He just throws his shit at us the whole time. Whoa! He's a shit eating boss. But I believe even in this demo, there's a bunch of other areas and biomes and stuff. And obviously, in the full game, there's going to be uh, as well. He's covering himself with mud now. I gotta hit him right in the non-muddy spot. I don't think he covered himself in mud last time. I can't remember. Mud, quote-unquote. We all know what it actually is. Ah, you fucker. That did so much damage. You bastard. I gotta eat my damn mashed potatoes. See what you've done? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if the boss was too crazy, we could, uh... Oh, he's dropping food, too. We could get out of here and... Do a whole new run, try and find better weapons, or go enchant our weapons, upgrade them, and stuff like that. And then come back in. Uh, yeah, but uh, like I was saying too, I made a video on this game like a while back. And uh, they had, I had a bunch of different guns in that too. So if you want to see other uh, types of gameplay, I had like an SMG in that I think. I had a shotgun at one point. Oh, is this thing broken? She. This boy's busted. Good thing I got another one. Just found another revolver up my ass. I'm gonna run out of ammo, though. Which is not good. Oh, here we go. Never mind. More ammo. Thank you, game. Thank you for listening. Good game. This guy has so much health. Also, I mean, this boss isn't the most exciting thing. What was really cool was uh, just, you know, these devs are really nice guys. I think the team seems pretty solid. Uh, I always like to see a nice indie, like, 
uh, success story, right? Especially when the game is actually good and unique like this. It has a lot of cool stuff going for it. I think there's a lot of mechanical uh, systems that are all really cool. This, like, grid inventory and the loot and the different, you know, buffs and all the crazy builds you can do. And, like, you can really get some nutty guns. Like, we're just playing with starter stuff in this video just to show, like, what the demo would be like if you hop straight into it. But there's some really crazy stuff you can get going with the guns. Oh, we're getting attacked by a million people. So, there's definitely... Ah, Jesus. There's definitely more than just what you're seeing. I do like this guy drops so much food. That's kind of nice. Food and ammo. Oh, we're gonna fight him and the ads. Oh my god, I just took so much damage. Jesus. Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. I'm healing. Do not want to get in the middle of a stack of these fuckers. There we go, we're good. Can also move some food up here. Yeah. I've almost got him. It's just covered in so much mud. I've got the moves, though. But yeah, the dev team seems really solid. They seem like nice guys. Um, I've talked to them, wished them luck with the launch and stuff like that. Um, I like their marketing. They kind of have, like, meme marketing going on TikTok. So, I mean, I'll put in the description, too. Check out their official TikTok. Uh, they have an official Discord. But mainly wishlist the game. If you think there's something cool here, if you're interested in it, you like this sort of risk-reward. Like, if I die, also, I lose all this stuff. So, like, you lose everything if you die. So, you have that sort of risk uh, factor of, like, if stuff's getting really rough, I can teleport out of here. And then I have to restart the run, but I don't lose my stuff. I can choose to bring in new guns or, uh, you know, even leave my good guns and just go in with crap and try and find new stuff to bring out and, you know, just sort of do like a, a run just to gain stuff without actually expecting to win. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, you gotta, you gotta think about a lot of things. It's got a cool metagame. It's got cool enemy design, cool area design. There's a lot of other enemies and stuff too, and like I said, they've got a roadmap of new like uh, areas and levels and stuff coming and bosses and whatever else. Ah, this boss is kind of nothing, but he's also the first boss, right? So, ah, cousin, cousin, my boy. Ah, yeah, I like the dev team. Um, they're really cool too. There was like I've done so many, so many videos. Like you guys, if you've been following the channel, you know I do literally like every two days there's a new indie game on the channel completely different stuff all the time um, and a lot of these dev teams are really nice and that said I've never in my many years of YouTube had a dev team like this where they <laughs> reached out and actually used my content for the Steam page I thought that was really cool as one of the sort of highlights of my quote-unquote career there we go we beat the boss but you can look at that here well Sulfur. Store page. Oh. <gasps> Boo! I'm a steamer! You can shop these guys. I'm on steam.com! <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. So that's, you know. I'm on steam. Holy shit. Oh, a gun. I thought that was pretty sick anyways. I've never had anything like that happen. Look at all this money we just got. You dropped like dollar bills. We've got... Oh, we've got 1500 bucks now. We got probably like, I don't know, a thousand from that boss. And we can get out of here now too. See ya! One run is all it takes when you're a god with the revolver. An insane revolver, man. There's one full first area run, I should say. There is more though. There's a town... Uh, that you go to. Uh, there's there's all kinds of stuff. We're back here at the church, our home area. So now we've got all this stuff, right? Nothing to collect. I think when you die, you get a little bit of money back in that. So now we can store this, our broken one. We can probably store the dirk too. Broken shoe, uh, triple oil, the glob, all these like poison mushrooms, probably the health potion. And now you have this. So if I were to die, all I would lose now is my revolver and like what I'm wearing. Then I could come back, grab some new guns, put some new stuff on, and start a new run that way. Um, you can also cook here in your, your home base. But we've got so much money now. Uh, this is the church. Church is like your home area. You're like a father-pastor type guy, I believe. If you can buy stuff from this guy, 
So let's see. Uh, I sure am. So I can buy an SMG for only 340. That's a steal. I have 1600 bones right now. There's also this girl down here who sells stuff uh, and then repairs things as well. So I can put something in here to repair. That's only 30 bucks. Is that right? Oh yeah, there we go. That wasn't the fully broken one, but still. Uh, let's see what her actual store has. Ammo boxes. Oh, and attachments. That's cool. Silencers. That's pretty cool. Lots of stuff in there we can get. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I don't even know 100%. Do you go down here? Oh, this is the new area. I've never even been down here. This is insane. There's so much in this demo, man. Like, you can play this demo for free. Check it out on Steam. You know, play the demo for yourself. Wishlist the game. Buy the game. Oh, you can't go into the town yet? You can't go in the town yet. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. When the game comes out, there's going to be a town. Okay, it's going to be crazy down there. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, Wishlist Sulfur. It's a masterpiece. Thank you to the developers of Sulfur for giving me the opportunity again to talk about the game. I do genuinely really love this game. Like from what I've played and what I've seen, it's the most promising demo that I have probably ever played. It's you play the demo and you immediately can tell and like know that there is something really high quality there and something really good there like a, that that you know the game is going to be good and like i said it comes out the 28th of october you can play the demo for free for yourself all what i just did um, you can check out the steam page it's got a lot of other like looks at the town and the other enemies and stuff like that um, yeah it comes out in like two weeks i'm really excited for it they've got an early access roadmap there's gonna be let's see there's got they've got fixes they've got a new biome the deep woods guns and magic update fortress update desert all kinds of stuff planned it looks great. Like I said, they've got a Discord. You can go in there and chat with everybody. Thank you so much to the devs for reaching out and allowing me to show the game off again. I just, I love the game. I think it's really good, you know? It's just a good game. Like, you can tell when you play. You can tell even when you look at it that, like, as far as indie games go, this one, honestly, from all the indie games I've played, which is a lot, it is a cut above the rest. And uh, I don't give away praise lightly on this channel. If you've been following me, you know that I am hard to impress, especially when it comes to, you know, spending your money. Because I think that buying a game, there's so many, even for free, experiences that you can get now. And there's just so much, like, to consider when you actually want to go on Steam, go somewhere, buy a game, especially in early access, that it needs to be something truly special. And I do honestly think that this game is that. And I know this is a paid video. But you can go look at the other video that wasn't paid in any way, and I was glowing about it then as well. And I still am now. I wish you guys the biggest success with the launch on the 28th. I really hope the game is like a massive hit, massive success. I think it has the ability to be a huge success, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you guys for watching so much. Check out the game. There's going to be a link in the description to go to the Steam page, or, you know, just go look it up on Steam yourself. I think if you use the link, they can tell that you use the link, though, so I'd appreciate it if you did that. But again, uh, your boy gets paid either way, <laughs> so you do whatever you'd like. I will be showing more of the game off at launch at the end of the month. Like I said, I'm definitely going to be playing the game for myself. So if you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, leave a like if you thought that the video was good, and comment down below what you thought of Sulphur. Please, you know, gas it up. If you guys are actually interested in the game, you think it looks cool, let us know down below. That way the devs are going to see this video, they're going to see the comments, and uh, I've already, like, DM'd them saying good luck with the launch and stuff, but I'm sure they'd love the support as well. So check out the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What a banger, honestly. It's just like so good. It's just fun and good. It's good and fun. It's like a good game. I don't, they don't make those anymore. Good games? On Steam? What? Then they're good? Huh?